Hey there, this is Alex Fall with blogfurniturehowto.com. We just finished up our weekly broadcast, and man, did we have some hiccups with our video clips. And to make sure that you don't miss a thing, we're going to upload both those videos right now in their entirety. Let's get this thing put back together, Mitch. All right, well, let's do it. Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Well, gang, as we get started on this week's project, this mirror restoration, I've got to admit, I'm in a little bit of uncharted territory here. I think the basic rule of thumb is something like this is to uh, assess what we have, see what we can reuse, and then figure out what we're going to need to make. So let's take a closer look at this mirror and do just that. And one of the first things we'll notice is how this base is totally delaminated here where it was soaking in the water. And I don't know how well you can see this water line on the mirror, but I know on the back you can clearly see where the water line rose up on the wall. And if this was on a dresser, that would have been at least right here on your chest. So let's take a look here and see what it's going to take to get that mirror off this thing and see how much of this we're going to have to replace. So it looks like all we've got here is a simple metal tab holding the mirror in place. But seeing as it's rusting, and this thing's at least 60 years old, we're going to want to be real careful as we start to bend it off. In fact, I think I'd be wise to just take these ones off the top and slide the mirror off the top. Like this. Alright, so let's take a look here and see how we can take off this bottom piece. It looks like from here it's going to be pretty simple. It's just a couple of screws. So judging from this old backboard, this looks like a piece of masonite. So this thing had to have been made in the 50s. And this looks like it's still in pretty good shape. So we'll set this aside, get it cleaned up. But this is what we want to focus on next. Let's take a look at this to see if we can make something similar but different. And since our customers requested we do something similar to this but a little more rustic, I thought we'd Use something with a live edge still on it. You know, something we cut right off the mill. Maybe create a backsplash with something like that. And maybe something like this for the little shelf. So let's get this thing out of the way. Take a look at what we can do with these. Now for me, this is the fun part. This is the part where I get to get my pencil out, my tape measure, and we get to start figuring how we're going to put all this stuff back together. And this one's already looking cool. So give me a minute here while I continue to formulate up our plan. And then we're going to fire up some tools. Alright, so as we get started here, the first thing we're going to do is flip this over and dado out these two channels for these 1x2's. Now gang, you may have seen me do this before, but I'm going to show you how we use our circular saw to dado wood. And that's pretty simple really. We just set our blade to the depth we want to cut and then cut between the lines. <laughs> Now the closer you cut together, the easier it's going to chisel out of there. Alright, now we'll just take a couple chisels and this stuff will snap right out of here. Now we're going to want to take out our router and finish dodoing out right around where the rest of that mirror is going to go.
let's see how this is all going to start coming together here. We've got this base piece. We've still got some cutting to do here, but let's take a look. About like that. Now we just need a clean, flat edge. A little bit of glue. A couple of screws. And a little bit of time. This will be ready to go. So let's see what this thing looks like. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again next week.